Hmm. I think I feel something. Ugh. It's a real kitty! Aw, he sure is cute, huh? What do you think his name is? I say we call him Marshmallow. Mmm, I guess. How did I get stuck with this? I know! I'll use it to draw my own cat! All I need is the perfect cat circle. Then everything else falls into place! He's really coming together, see? It's amazing what just a few different shapes can do! And a pop of color, of course! Just a couple more accents. And done! So cute! Thanks for this! Whoa! Who's my baby? Marshmallow? You didn't draw anything. I was distracted! Show me your kitty creations! Well, this is embarrassing. It's my best work yet! Meow! <gasps> it's possum! Thank you! Didn't feel inspired, Brian? Alakazam! Not done yet! What? Is this supposed to mean something? Is it a secret code? Let me see something here. Hmm. This is a real thinker. I wonder what I should eat for lunch. Whoa, she sure knows what she's doing. <gasps> My hand hurts! That's it! The dots just anchor the eagle! Now I just have to color it in! It's better if I speed it up. Looking good! And that's all, folks! Done? Ooh, just in time! Check it out! <gasps> I'm very impressed! Aw, shucks. Uh, I did mine freestyle! Plus, it's sparkly! Do you love it? It's like a mermaid bird! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get your pencils ready! Let's see here. We have purple! Which means… Monkey! Wow! You ready? Hey! She wants a monkey? Ooh, ah! <laughs> That's pretty good! <laughs> oh, uh -uh. Don't be a monkey. Draw one. Hmm. What's she doing? Hey, help a friend out? Mm, I guess. Let me see this. Drawing a monkey doesn't have to be complicated. Isn't this little guy adorable? I can almost hear him! Wow! You're the best! Now for mine! Oh, just one more minute? Time is money, Madison. I did this all by myself! Impressive, huh? And here's mine. These look really similar. Almost like they're by the same artist. Too weird. It's mine! Oh, really? Okay. You can have it. It's mine, see? I'm so proud! Another drawing coming at ya! You ready for this? Yellow means… Square! Good luck! I think I can do something. Psh, I did this in preschool. Huh? Abracadabra, you're drawing a… Bam! Uh, I guess we're getting crazy today. Don't mind if I do. Let's do this. He's gonna trace this really quick. First in here. Then around the little handles. A 
Okay, there. Nice. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Now for the cutting action. Am I dexterous enough for this? Ugh. Ooh, watch the fingers. What's that? Uh, whatever. What is all this stuff? Ugh, it's getting on my artwork! Can you guess what this is yet? It lives in trees and likes to come out in the nighttime. Who? <laughs> yep, it says who, all right. It's your new little owl friend. Isn't he cute? Almost there. <laughs> it's perfect. Just needs a little bit of color. These neon hues are great. It's coming together! Ta-da! Hmm, interesting. And Melanie's also quite something. Way to go. Cool! But who's gonna clean up this mess? Oh, my jeans! Oh boy. Looks like Melanie takes the prize. There's still one more to go. Huh? What's that sound? I suddenly feel the urge to move. I let my hand do the dancing. I've never heard this song before, but I'm definitely feeling it. A treble clef, of course. This bass guitar is killing it. Wow. Whoa. Is this mine? Can hear you. How are we doing? Hmm, interesting. Nice work. Um, this is blank. <gasps> Billy, is that you? Here's my sick dude. I'm gonna faint. Oh, I'm gonna faint. Another drawing coming at ya. You ready for this? Yellow means square. Good luck. I think I can do something. Psh, I did this in preschool. Whoa! Someone paid attention in geometry. I'm not down with that. That's more like it. Hmm. This is gonna be good. Let's see them. A square! Is that even a shape? It's… something… Square! Thanks, Captain Obvious! Now do you see it? Whoa! Did you see that sorcery? <gasps> it's genius! Uh, mine's just not folded yet. There. See it better now? <sighs> a for effort, Brian. Aww. Stupid square. Show me? It's really easy. Just follow this. Now connect the lines you've made. Starting to look like a shape now. Wow! Okay, girls. Here we go. Now it's your turn. We're drawing hands, huh? Interesting. I have an idea. Check that out! What happened? Oh… Just a little electric surge. Is that shadow my hand? I just had the best idea ever! Now, that's better. And we have light, ladies and gents! Let's do it! First, trace your hand. Then turn your hand into an adorable little bird. 
color him in with a white chalk pen. Don't color the wing just yet. Okay, now you can. And don't forget about those little feet. I don't know how to draw this thing. Huh? That looks stupid. Anything? I just don't see it. Ha! That's the one! Ooh! My aim was a little off. Let's try this one! Trace your hand like this. Then turn it into a cute little doggy. Doesn't look like a hand anymore, right? Check out that giant tongue! Then give him brown fur. Time's up! Check these masterpieces out! Those were your hands! Incredible! And your duck is just fantastic! Truly remarkable! Perfect! How do I choose a winner? They're both so wonderful! Two judges for two deserving winners! So we both won this round? Okay, you ready for this one? Oh, let's see some giraffes! How do I do it? Oh, that's a piece of cake! I could do it in my sleep! I know! Start with a head like this. Now just a few more lines. I got it! Just a quick snack first. So fresh. Phew! That mall was huge! But I got the inspiration I needed. First, draw these four numbers. Look at this little guy. And here's a swan! A beautiful butterfly! And lastly, a fish! Now it's time to color them all in! He's cute, right? And this swan is super elegant! Don't forget the water! A pink butterfly? Adorable! It's all about the little details. Now onto the little fish! All right! Time's up, girls! I drew four animals! Including the giraffe, of course. Incredible, Madison! Annie? Just one more second, okay? I can't draw fast enough! Done! That's… interesting. What a sad excuse for a giraffe. What's next? What's next? Looks like it's a surprise! What? I don't get it. Okay… Huh? There's nothing here! What are we supposed to write with? Of course! I'll make it myself! Come on! Wow! I can't believe I did it! Look at these bad boys! Awesome! And we'll start with a unicorn! Just a few little lines here. Those are some beautiful eyes! Starting to look familiar yet? It's the horn, see? Aw, it really is a unicorn! But what's a unicorn without a pop of color? Okay, lots of colors! Just a few little details can really bring a picture to life! So cute! Look at that! I wish I could do that! Just think really hard! It didn't work! I gotta concentrate even harder! Oh, I can't bear to watch this! There! Yes! It worked! But what do I do with it? 
Do I do something with the mirror? Your guess is as good as mine! Hey! Can you see the reflection? That's pretty cool! <gasps> I know what to do now! Turns out, two opposite pairs of two can give you something interesting! Yep, it's a little froggy! The green color helps you see it. Very nice! I'm a pretty good artist, right? Finished right on time! So cute! I love it! And mine? You know what? They both win! I wonder what's next? Challenge number two is to draw love! This is gonna be great! I'm so ready! Time to use three drawing instruments at once! I've got all three of them and can draw three lines at once! Now let's take a pencil and shade in this top row. Time for the cotton swab again for blending! Oh yeah, this is looking great! Hmm, how do I draw a heart? Oh, I know. No, that won't work. Maybe if I… No, that won't work either! Oh wait! I'll ask for help! Good thing I carry around this help button! I'll just give it a press and wait for help! Ooh, yes, she'll do! Hi, fancy artist! Please draw my challenge for me! Our challenge this time is to draw a heart! Ah, yes. So I see. This shall be simple. A heart is just the concept of love. We will write the word on the paper like so. Now for the next part. A circle right here. And another circle over here. Now we will transform this into a masterpiece. Each letter becomes a hand. Don't forget to add the arms. Now, draw spokes like in a wheel on the circles. And of course, we need bodies too. And hair to make it extra special. Can't forget about the rest of their clothing like their skirts. And their legs, too! Now it's time to decorate their clothes. And voila! You have love on your paper! Wow! Bravo, bravo! Thank you! You are welcome. Now I must return to my work. Oh, what? No fair! Annie's art is amazing! I think I need help to make mine even better. Ooh! I can't wait to see who I get! O-M-G! This is unbelievable! Billy Eilish showed up to help! Yep, it's me. Hi. Ah! I'm your biggest fan! Okay, that's cute. Let me help. Is that really Billy Eilish? No way it is her! She's for real! There you go. I'm out. I can't believe that was the Billie Eilish! I know, right? Amazing! Time to show off our work! Wait, all she did was give me her autograph? This is fantastic! The best art ever! Ooh, Billie Eilish! A plus for you, Madison! Oh, very nice concept of love, Annie! Looking to stand out in a crowd? Well, that's a little extreme, huh? Unless you get creative with it. In one move, you can customize just about anything. Even if it's splattered coffee. Just another thing that makes you one of a kind. Pretty rad, right? My new shoes finally arrived! They're so much better than the pictures! Pure white, untouched by dirt. Anyone out here? Cause things are about to get a little crazy. Gotta keep these shoes clean somehow. Just a couple more steps. I sure hope I have enough tissues. Careful. I did it! Hot cup of joe at 12 o'clock! And with no lid in sight! Gah! Can you believe that? I gotta get out of here. This place is like a death trap. Oh boy. Olivia's coming in hot for a hug. 
One misstep and these shoes are toast! No hugs, Olivia! Ah! What am I stepping on? <gasps> Oops! Looks like I got your foot there! You've gotta be kidding me! Why, God, why? So gross! Why cry when you can customize? Rip off about this much tape and stick it onto the side of your shoe. And don't forget about the soles. Once the shoe looks like this, take a blade and follow it along the outer design of your shoe. Start to peel. And you'll see the pattern. Now with paint primer, spray the entire shoe as it is. Now it's time for some color. Spray them into a tub of water. They should make a circle pattern. Then, dip the shoe face down into the water. Keep it steady! Once the paint's dry, it's time to start peeling. And you can watch the magic unfold. Check out these one-of-a-kind sneaks! No more dirt anxiety here! But don't get too confident. The shoes aren't completely accident-proof. No way! What am I gonna do now? So much poop! Okay, don't panic. These are going straight in the wash. Still asleep, Claire Bear? <laughs> One morning joy ride coming up! Oh yeah! Safety first! I should go grab breakfast. How fast can I get this to go? Oh, it's so bad! Maybe it's not that bad? Nope! It's really, really bad! Claire's gonna totally kill me! Wait a second… I just had the most brilliant idea! I sure hope this works! Claire! Fun's over. What's that on my car? It looks like a giant birthday present! Why is it all covered like that? It's covering every nook and cranny! Even the mirrors?! How am I supposed to get in that thing? My precious car doesn't deserve this! Why did Olivia do this anyway? I gotta see what's hiding under all this. This is gonna be harder than I thought. <gasps> this stuff never ends! It's like a birthday present I never even wanted! What?! What are those balls doing in there?! Just one more layer here… That scratch is the size of Alabama! Are these supposed to be a distraction?! How many are in here anyway?! Do I dare open the door? After a long day, sitting down and coloring can really calm your nerves and help you relax. Aw, oh, look! What an adorable little apple tree! Green seems like a good color to start with. Wow, Bella sure knows how to stay in the lines, doesn't she? All done. But it came with a price. Getting marker rubbed all over your skin is the absolute worst. Ugh, maybe I can rub it off? Oh, maybe the paper towel will do the trick. Come on, you ugly marks! Leave my skin alone! Perhaps I just need something a little stronger. Protective gear? Really? Looks like we're scrubbing these marks off once and for all. What? Why isn't it working? I give up. I'll just have these marks for the rest of my life. Wait. I have an idea. Maybe this yellow highlighter will work. Hey, at this point, I'll try anything to get this stuff off. Uh, it looks like you're just drawing more yellow onto your skin. 
But lo and behold, when you wipe off the fresh yellow ink, all the darker colors come off instead. Well, now that I know this trick, coloring just became way more worth the trouble. And next up? This adorable little teddy bear! We've all had one of those days where we feel a little… blue. And no matter how much your friend tries to make you laugh, you just can't seem to get in a good mood. And boy, is Bella trying hard to make this sad sap laugh. It's no use, Bella. I'm just too down in the dumps. Too down to smile at Mr. Moose Face? Yikes. <sighs> Justin's not budging. Oh man, there's gotta be something I can do to cheer you up. Oops. There goes my fork. Yes! The perfect opportunity to make Justin laugh! And all I need is right here in my old trusty backpack. Sometimes a little extra creativity can really come in handy. And in this case, a black marker is just the ticket. When your friend isn't looking, you have a small window to create the best joke ever. On a plate like this one, draw a little stick figure holding a balloon. Aha! Uh, Bella, what on earth are you doing? Did you know that if you pour water on a nearly dried marker, it'll lift it right off the glass surface? See? He's moving around! Wow. That's actually pretty funny. No matter what design you draw, this little trick is always sure to bring a smile to your face. Try drawing a little boat and watch it sail away. How does this work? Why don't you give it a try? See? Nothing like a little creative spirit to turn the frown upside down. Okay! Next round! Let's do it! Looks like we're doing parrots. Ooh, that's hard too. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I can draw this in my sleep. Ah, she really knows what she's doing. Think this'll cut it? How about this? Oh, none of these are none of these are good. Bunch of twos? Oh, uh, this actually might work. Here's how it's done. Can you see the parrots now? They're chilling on a branch together. They really are beautiful birds. Especially with all these colors. Almost forgot about the branch. This thing's really coming together. I'm so gonna win. Time's up! Let's see what you drew! Oh, a sweet parrot! Hmm, no frills. But Matthews. Ooh, well done! Now that's a work of art! It ought to be in a museum! That's not fair. Attention! Ready for today's drawing challenge? Come on, make it something good. A cute little monkey. You're like a giant ape. This is gonna be easy. Monkeys are all about shapes. Looks good so far, but I can do way better. Once your paper's folded, do one more at the bottom. Now draw the top half of your monkey's face. Ears and all. Then form its sweet face. Once you finish his eyes, give him eyebrows and a nose. Then draw the bottom half of the monkey. Whoa! Gotta fill in that gap! Those are some scary chompers. This monkey doesn't seem friendly. Now, don't forget to color him in. Keep going. We're almost finished. Now, move on to the next color. Almost done with that mouth. And now for that tongue. Check this monkey out. Not so scary anymore. Hey, cute, right? Great. Don't come too close. Oh, oh I, I wasn't too scared. Whoa, am I seeing things? Or is that a giant gorilla? Oh, uh, Zoe! Oh, you kids! Seriously? Well, that was terrifying. Well, let's see these monkeys. 
Mine's the cutest. That's good for a beginner. Zoe? Ta-da! Oh! <gasps> oh my goodness! Are you in this round, Zoe? Better luck next time, Matt. <laughs>